This video introduces you to permanent SAS datasets. So far in this course, we have worked with temporary SAS datasets. So in our program, we create a temporary SAS dataset and it's available to us while the SAS session is open. However, once we exit out of SAS, we no longer have that SAS dataset. It's no longer available to us. A permanent SAS dataset is a data set that is saved and available for use in future programs. So you will need to tell SAS where to store and retrieve the data set once you've created a permanent SAS data set. There are a number of reasons to create permanent SAS data sets. First of all, you only need to read the raw data once. So you would only have a program with the input statement once. Secondly, you can compute calculated variables, and those calculated variables will be saved on the permanent SAS data set. When you're using a permanent SAS data set, new SAS programs are much shorter because you don't have to go through the lengthy input statement and creating new variables. Also, with permanent SAS data sets, you can run procedures immediately. And lastly, permanent SAS datasets are useful when you need to transport your data to other users or other computers. To create a permanent SAS dataset, you will need a libname statement. A libname statement is used when you want SAS to store or retrieve SAS datasets from a directory other than the default SAS work directory. Recall that when we create temporary SAS datasets, they always have the prefix of work, and that indicates that the SAS temporary dataset is stored temporarily in a SAS work directory that is only existing when the SAS session is open. So when we want to create a permanent SAS dataset, we're going to need to use a libname statement. And so here in this example, we're looking at libname mylib c colon backslash my sas datasets. mylib is used as a shortcut name or a nickname for the storage location or directory where your sas files are stored or where you want the new permanent sas dataset written to so this is just a reference name i'm using the reference name mylib this reference name can be any name that's one to eight characters long and the association between the reference name and a directory or SAS library that contains the SAS datasets lasts only for the duration of the SAS session or until you change it or discontinue it with another libname statement. So in this example, the directory c colon backslash my SAS datasets is assigned a reference name of mylib. And this is where we will store the SAS dataset. And then we have this statement, data mylib.ses score. That statement tells SAS to create a data set, a SAS data set called SES score, and we want that SAS data set to be stored in the directory referenced by mylib, which is the C colon my SAS data sets directory. So these are three examples of libname statements. And if we are interested in creating a permanent SAS data set, we do it by writing our data statement, just as we would if we were creating a temporary SAS data set. But instead of using just a one-level name, we are going to have a two-level name where the first part of the name is the actual reference name. So in our first example, we have data mylib.dataset name. What that's telling SAS is that we are creating a data set, calling it data set name, and storing it in the directory that's referenced by mylib. In the second example, we are creating another SAS data set, just calling it data set name, and we're storing it in the directory that's referenced by class. And then the file that's going to be written to that directory has the name data set name, for our example, and it has the extension SAS7BDAT. So whenever you see the extension SAS7BDAT, you know that you are working with a permanent SAS dataset. 
So if a researcher gives me a data set and it has that extension, I know that I have a SAS data set. Usually the first thing I do when I'm given a permanent SAS data set is I run a PROC contents on the data. So here in this example, I'm doing PROC contents data equals mylib.ses score. So again, we are looking for a SAS data set by the name of SES score and it's stored in the directory that's referenced by mylib. And what PROC contents is going to tell me is it's going to tell me the descriptor portion of the data set. So it's going to tell me the names, the labels, and formats of all the variables in that SAS data set. It's not actually going to show me the actual raw data. Again, PROC contents just reads the descriptor portion of the data set. There are some cautions when using permanent SAS data sets. First of all, SAS data sets can be large, and so we have to be concerned about computation time and space. Also, it's easy to erase or change a SAS data set without meaning to, and I'm going to talk more specifically about that when we look at the SAS demonstration videos. So now, view the SAS demonstration videos, save permanent data set, followed by use permanent data set.